force here. Zero plus one plus two, negative one, negative two. You have a raw force. Here we have mu, and mu is equal to 12, 12, uh, 20. That's a population mean. Then we have the standard deviation. Sigma is equal to 5. So we have 25, 30, 15, and 10. Everybody good? Then we have to put that, that other layer here where we have... 14% and 2% here. Notice how the frequency, so keep in mind, don't lose sight of the fact that this represents frequency. So we have the highest frequency here in this number, 20. And then all this, in a sense, represents an area or the, the, um, the area surface of the scores here. So we have 34%. This section, this section represents 34% of scores, whereas this section between positive one and positive two is smaller, right? Because it only reflects 14% of scores. And beyond positive two, there's only a very few scores beyond positive two and over. So that's only 2%. So think of it that way going forward so that you'll have an easier way with um, an easier understanding of hypothesis testing next time. So we have 34% um, here, 14% here, and then 2% here. Same thing, just keep mind of the area here. So the question is, what percent of scores are between 15 and 25? We'll look up 15 and 25 here. And what do we have? We have to add 34% and 34%, right? So 34% plus 34% is equal to 68%. Okay, everybody good with that?